Hello, boys and girls. It's time for us to get started on your number fluency. So in the classroom every day, we would do something called a number talk. But since we are going to be virtual, I'm going to be doing number talks with you. I want you to be able to see what I'm doing on my screen. So I have pulled up a website that you have on your links. Um, it's on the mathlearningcenter.org website. And whenever you scroll down, it has all of these different math apps that you can use. And the one I pulled up today is called Number Rack. In the classroom, we sometimes call this a wreck and wreck. So a wreck and wreck or a number rack, same thing. What you're going to see on the top here, you'll see 10 beads. Five of them are red, five of them are white on both rows. Because tens are very important in our place value system, we want you to easily be able to see those groups of tens. So looking carefully at these, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull aside some um, amounts and we're going to do a number talk, seeing what we can, um, with how you see numbers. Now we're gonna work on using the fives and the tens to help us today. So this is the five ten structure. So follow along with me. I'm going to pull some over on the top, some on the bottom. Tell me what you see over here. This is always the side you're looking at. 10, there are 10 because you can see that there are five up top, five on the bottom, which that one was easy to see since there were no red left over here. So five plus five is 10. Okay, good, but we're gonna clear that. Let's try another one. Now tell me what you see. Did you still notice that there were five on the top and five on the bottom? The red, just like there was last time. But this time, there are two more. So I can see that there's five plus five, which gets me to 10, plus two more, and that's 12. Well, guess what? There's seven on the top and five on the bottom. That is 12 as well. So you can figure out what seven plus five is by knowing five plus five. Good job, let's keep going. Look at the top, now look at the bottom. What do you see over here on this side? Are your eyes still drawn to the five right here and the five right here? Mine are, since that's what we started with, right? So this problem is actually, if you look at the top, it's five, here's what that number sentence would look like. Five plus eight equals. This is what we're actually working on, okay? Five plus eight. But five plus eight could be solved by knowing, I know that five plus five, and you say, well, Miss Staten, where is that five at? Let me show you. Here's that five, it's inside the eight. There's five of something inside the number eight. So if I add that five and this five, that's going to get me, this is how we'll do that. When we, since we're not done thinking, we're going to draw an arrow. And that gets me to a group of 10. But that three, I still had three left, right? Three left from the eight. So I'm gonna add that three there. And I know my tens facts. 10 plus three more, here's the three more, gets me to 13. So now I know five plus eight is 13. All right, great thinking, let's do another one. Look at the top, look at the bottom. Tell me what you're seeing. On the top, there are eight. On the bottom, there's just one less than that. There's seven. Did any of you still see your, oops, that's not what I meant to do, I'm sorry. Did any of you still notice that, hey, there's five, and here's five, that makes 10. Then what do you notice? So five plus five is 10. Did anyone group these together and see that there's three and two more and that's another five? So now I have five plus five plus five is 15, okay? Great job, last one. Here is six plus seven. Six plus seven equals, share your thinking.